Oh ye of little faith, Benny. Oh ye. Benny says, oh, oh shoot, he didn't wait for the sale to buy the, the F4S. Incorrect, my friend. I grinded this. This is the F4J, baby. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Just played a little bit more War Thunder since last stream, that's all. <laughs> How y'all doing? We're here, we're nearing the toppest of tiers. Oh, I got a little reward there, good for me. I'm not sure if, uh, what, what my status on the F5C was when you last saw me. But if it wasn't aced then, it is now. We are aced, I can't remember. Having a great time with the F5C. But now... Now I'm doing the F4J, and you know what? I don't even need to get stuck here, because... I can just keep grinding the F5J. I've only got to hit the F5E and the F4C up, buy them both, and I can research the F16s. And I can go... So I can go 1, 2, 3, 4, and I'm on the F16C. I do want that, that's my goal. Uh, Tomcat, cool, but that is my goal, the F16C. That said, I am taking a little pit stop here of the F4J, because it's something different, it's fun. Um, you know, I'm, I'm finally getting to experience radar missile play at like 12, 12.3 BRs. Uh, it's very different. So when you don't have a premium jet, you actually have to unlock things. I haven't unlocked the best radar-guided missiles this plane gets yet. I've only got the 72s. I'm now working 20,000 RP. I can get that pretty shortly. I'm going to try out the AIM-7F. How's the radar going? Ah, uh, it's, it's interesting. It's different. I'm learning that the radar is very, very fickle and temperamental. Sammy says I just had 10 people watch me re live read a game manual for two hours. You wish you had my streamer energy. What manual? The radar is very fickle. Um, I'm wondering, I'm assuming better airplanes have better radars. It makes me even more want to not stay on here too for too long and get back to grinding for the F-16. Because when you're not grinding on the F-5, we're getting less RP because we don't have a talisman on the F-4J. Uh, and we also are spending RP into unlocking its modifications. So we're, we're not really making much progress over here. It's just kind of like a little pit stop. That said, let's do some more of this pit stop. And I'll show you how we're going. Baga says, F4J is one of the better radars. Doesn't get much better. You're reading Mech Engineer Manual Semi? <laughs> it's insanely complex. Does not sound like it's for me. Delta says, F4J is basically ACM mode and chill. Yeah, I, I've basically settled on that now. I've been trying to, like... I, I've been trying to play it this morning a bit off stream. And trying to figure it out and trying to get the radar like you know like lock targets in other ways but i'm getting the impression and from looking things up online that you basically can only really reliably lock targets that are coming at you uh it i i never seem to be able to get a lock otherwise but you know now that i'm on stream maybe you guys can tell me how to do it but uh so i, I this is like you know I'm not even like a dozen games at this BR yet, you know, I'm just, well, no I am because I unlock stuff, but not even like a dozen good games, because I've basically just got missiles. What missiles you got, bitch? Um, I got AIM-9Gs and I got Sparrows, not the, not the good Sparrows, but the decent Sparrows at this BR. The 70s, and I'm, I'm unlocking right now the 7Fs. You can switch radar to the PD. you will be able to shoot targets beneath you effectively, but you can lock targets flying away from you. I've tried that, oh god. Yeah, I've tried that. I've got it all bound up. Like, this is Search Radar, this is Pulse Doppler. And I've tried using the Search, but I can't lock anything with the Search Radar. Just, basically, if I try to use the Search Radar, it feels like I can lock nothing. Even understanding not pointing it at the ground and pointing upwards and all that shit. Um, I, I just have not been able to lock shit with the Search Radar at all. I don't know how the fuck planes that don't have Pulse Doppler even fucking do it. Um, so I've just been sticking to... You know, after a lot of frustration trying to get that to work, I've just been sticking to, like, playing it more like a dogfighter. A, well, not really a dogfighter, but like a, a closer in jet. When I first got to this bracket, I was thinking, like, oh, like, it's gonna be, like, BVR, it's gonna be, like, firing missiles, and then, like, backing off and stuff. 
keeping distance. In practice, don't not really get like that. I just could never fucking lock anything with radar. Um, Benny says search will do better with a notch target at level or higher out, but still struggles in War Thunder. Yeah, well, yeah, it's been struggling. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I, I, I've just learned in the last couple of matches, you know what, just go simpler, just stick it in, keep it in Pulse Doppler, stick it in uh, HMD mode or ACM mode, fly low, um, just try not to get acquired, because that's rule number one at this BR, just don't, don't be the one they're looking at, that really is, is important. Um, we are definitely, we're always up tiered, we're always fighting the F-16s and F-14s. Some rarely we get a down tier, and that's a lot easier. Baga says, "I find the non-ACM HMD modes to be more consistent." You do? I'm not sure if there's like a difference between them in like reliability. I've just been assuming it's about how you acquire. Anyway, I'm still very much getting the hang of this BR. So it's like back back to the beginning, basically, of being good, uh, of trying to get good again. I mean, HMDPD. There's some shit going on over to the right. I'm just following this F-16 so it can scout in front of me. But yeah, it seems like... The F5C is, I was getting the impression of as I kept playing it, the F5C is in that perfect bracket of like, it's still about dogfighting, there's just missiles involved. Whereas now, with this jet, it's very clear it's more like... Um, be in the right place at the right time. To get a kill and to not die. It's all about positioning. So I'm going to be flying towards Targ. Is that number down the bottom? That's like the speed they're closing on me. The higher that is, the better the radar is at knowing what the fuck they're doing. Missile away. I got to keep a lock, so I want to get... Oh, no. It's dead. They're all fucking dead. It's all good. I'm going to look around a bit. It's... My awareness went down to shitter. Oh, here we go. When I started playing in this bracket, because, like, the radar shit's very easy to distract yourself from, like, the actual flying part. Oh, what the fuck? That's interesting. Oh shit. Oh, I just got saved. I reckon. I did not really realize the situation that was approaching me there. My team is just cleaning up though. My team cleaned that shit up. The enemy team is just fucking dead. Which is another good way, with any game, with any team game, to stay alive a bit more in this BR that I have no idea about. Oh, what I have an idea about what I'm not good at yet is, um... Fucking follow your teammates. Let them handle shit. Sammy says, flying planes at this tier is like alien space magic to me. What even is this UI? You mean, what UI? The, the radar? There's someone in that cloud, I think. Or am I just... I might just be dealing with that, um... F4S there. That you're targeting. All the green glowy shit. This is my head mounted display. Oh, they got the MiG-21 attackers in this bracket. So what that means is that I have different radar search modes. So down at the bottom right, watch the radar. This is normal mode. This is like... Um, I can like switch between like little radar targets down there on the... On the um, on the radar, I can I can shift T, I can circle through them, and I can select them, lock them up with a keybind, uh, and then we go, you know, sparrow, fire away. I lose lock because it's going perpendicular to me, so I switch to the sidewinder, and we just shoot that instead. Welcome to notching. I'm just wasting my missiles because there's not really any minions left. I'm just trying to show you how the radar works. 
Baga says, consider switching the radar to a box. I prefer a lot more to the conical radar. Yeah, I might. It seems really hard to fucking see what's going on. Oh, contacts in the conical radar. That was a clean kill. Well, it was also a bot. So, <laughs> it should be. So back to the radar missiles. So we have four radar guided missiles and four um, heat seekers. Yeah, I'm probably going to try the box out. Where is that? Options. Radar. Use rectangular radar indicator. Takes up more screen space, but it's probably going to be a lot more clear. The thing is that that is not like a mini-map on the right. That is... Targets closing on me quickly, I think, are at the top. Otherwise, they're at the bottom if they're going away from me. Missile away. Lost lot. Because it turned perpendicular and maybe chaffed. Excellent. And we're going to enter ACM mode. And try to lock it. Fire. Lock. 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 Fuck you. Lock. Lock. Fuck you. Too close. Too close. Based on distance. I thought in pulse Doppler mode it wasn't. Apply block the IR Seeker. Oh, I'm, I was meant to be... That's why I couldn't lock. I was still on Sidewinders. That explains a bit. Okay, speaking of Sidewinders. Fire. Could not, could not fire that. I could not fire that. I don't know if it needed like a warm-up time. I could not fire that until we let it go and it was too late. Well Law tech support. At this point, as you get to this modern level of jets, it's about the weapon systems and being able to operate them effectively. That's a lot of fucking tech support for me right now, like, getting used to the new missiles and learning how they work. And also making sure I'm using them right. It's also very different in, like, game flow compared to the BR I came from. Um, you can get these bigger maps where there's, like, mini objectives everywhere and people spread out for them. Then he says, Seeker was G-locked. These newer missiles will prevent you from firing when the G-load is too great for the Seeker you're going to target. Right. I thought the 9Gs didn't do that. I thought it was just the Ds. We got an SU-25, like, fucking, uh... It's the last target. It's 60 kilometers away on the other side of the AO. Oh, it's at our airbase. That's why they're so far away, actually. They do. It's just a higher G-tolerance. I see. They're dead. That one, I showed up too late and I fucked it with the F4. <laughs> Baga says, I hope they have the 9X and allow off foresight shots and targets directly behind just to fuck the meta up. What's that scanner? That's my radar on the side. I'm gonna try a couple matches with the rectangular, but... Let's see if it'll help me. I'm probably going to switch back to the F5 at some point today, too, to, like, get back to grinding for the F16. Because the F4J is cool. It's cool to, like, engage in, like, radar missile combat. But I'm probably going to want to, like, want to go all the way to F16 because I can do that anyway with the F16. And, like, the thing is, the F4 is always getting, like, placed of F16s and F14s anyway in MiG-29. So you may as well be the top-tier jets if you're going to be put with them. Meaty says, glad to see you having fun again, Beast. Thank you, Meaty. Appreciate it. Are we fly? We're flying the F4J. Benny says, you will need to play one of the tech trees to research the F16, because the F5 is too low tier to get full RP gain on top tier. Really? 
Carol says, I have a baseball game to watch, so you're safe from Q-dropping unless you go really long today. How do you like the F4? Premium Stellar outweighs the gap. Yeah, I'd imagine Premium Stellar outweighs the gap, but we'll see. Um, it's alright. I'm, I'm really new to it, Camel F, so I'm still, like, getting my feet wet with this plane. Premiums can research one up and all the way down at full RP gain. It, well, F-16 is one up from the F-5C, so it should be fine. F-5C, I mean. It's two up? Uh, no, it's not. You mean tiers? Or do you mean planes? Tiers, no! No, it's not. What's going on? Oh, Jesus. I hit the wrong buttons. Okay, I need to go land. I did the thing where I double tap my gear and I single tap my flaps, which does nothing. You have to single tap my gear and double tap my flaps. No, F5C is one tier below, uh, Benny. I'm 90% I'm sure of it. I'll show you afterwards. I think. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm wrong? I'm pretty sure I'm right. I'm pretty sure I'm right, Benny. Oh god. Oh god, I don't know how to land this, I just realized. Oh! Okay, slow down. We did it. We're, we're landing. We're not- we're so- we're <laughs> It's a bold landing approach. I'm used to the F5, I've never landed this plane yet. Please tell me I'm close enough to the- <laughs> I'm close enough to the fucking airstrip! We're fine. I, I'm used to the F5, which can do insane things. Uh, this plane cannot, especially missing uh, its fucking flap. We're fine. Everything's fine. How are you? Alright, you can't see it, but there's a repair thing behind me, exactly behind where I am. There we go. Counted down, we're good to go. Oh, we're gonna be extra late. But if our team doesn't kill everyone immediately, we'll see how that goes for us. But yeah, to, to, to recap, basically, I, I got to this plane, I tried to play it like DCS F-18. Uh, I was not able to keep a radar lock to save my life. Or if I could, I would explode first. So instead I just started playing it low and, low and fast. And just sneaking behind people and going for targets of opportunity. And if they're flying away from me, I sidewinder them, and if they're flying towards me, I head on uh, sparrow them. And that's about it. That's what we do. Flying away, we get in place for a sidewinder, just like the F5, except the sidewinder is way better on this plane. And if they're flying towards me, we try to lock them before they get too close, and loose the sparrow, and then stay low so their missile misses, and hope they don't do the same to us. That's about it. It's, it's like... Just head-ons are a thing I can do now of missiles. Is the big difference compared to F5C. <laughs> Eagle subscribed at tier no 1. They subscribed for 91 months and they said, 91 is too far too many. Thank you, Iglog. Far too many, but I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you for giving Daddy his many tributes. Are you liking different radar modes? Slowly getting used to them. 
I mainly stick it in HMD mode because anything I lock BVR either will notch me or die to someone else or will out will out missile me at this point. So where is that on my square? I don't see it on my square. It's gone now. I might go back to the cone. But I'm going to give it a few matches to give it a real try. What are they doing? They're going down in the canyon. They're going to come back up. They're going to come back up. I'm going to lock them. I'm gonna lock him. I'm gonna lock him. We're gonna lock him. We're gonna lock. Fire away. Go low. It's a hit. Splash one. This is what we do in the Phantom. We don't. All that sweating trying to get gunshots. All that Top Gun shit. All that <laughs> pulling 12 G's. We don't do that anymore in this plane. Go back to the F5 for that. We just fly, we just fly around, and we let the missile do all the sweating. That's how this plane works. Is what I'm learning. <laughs> yeah, all that climbing the 5 km out. We don't do that here. We stay low where the radar missiles can't get us. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna go back to the F5C. Even after I get the F-16, just because I can see what people mean by, like, it's the most fun bracket. I was starting to get the impression of it even as I was playing the F-5. Because it is that nexus of, like, old world dogfighting and new modern age, like, missiles exist and stuff. And jet, jets, um, jet thrust. But, it's also fun to do this as something different. It's two different kinds of gameplay. You didn't check the ranks? Well, I'm right. But yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll check for you next time. Look. Uh... Rank 7? Rank 7. And the F-16 is the next rank up. Rank 8. Baga says, The F-4J is also sucked into the 12.3 BR black hole, so not all the diversity. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. We're up against F-16s anyway, so... That makes things a little bit harder, too. Okay, straight into HMD mode, straight into Pulse Doppler mode. Yeah. Gear up, flaps raised. They finally gave me more mirrors in a jet that can't even use them. Sparrow selected. There's all these, like, things you want to do when you take off before you forget. Usually with the F5, it was just select cannon. With the Phantom, you've got to, like... You want to, like, switch radar mode to pulse Doppler. Turn on your preferred radar targeting system, in this case, HMD. Select Sparrow. And then don't forget to gear up and flaps up. It is a nice cockpit, isn't it? I want to be at the front. I do not want to be at the front. Or do I? I'll be at the front. I'm not scared. I'll be at the front. What was terrible of this plane is fucking the brief stock grind of only having... When I first got this plane, I only had two AIM-9Ds. But they were still better than the AIM-9Es that the F5 has. It was okay. I actually did better... I did better during that period than I did once I first got the Sparrows and started learning to use the radar. So I would just fly behind the enemy, let off two 9Ds to unaware targets, which is flown into the AO, usually kill them, and then die. I started getting the Sparrows, and I was like, oh man, I died like ten times in a row trying to like, win a head-on, or like just get the radar to lock, which I could not figure out. Because like, I got that notching was effective, but I didn't, like with this game, with War Thunder, and with this radar, no notching is effective translates with this radar, it feels like, into if they're not flying almost directly at you, you will not keep a lock. Don't even think about getting, like, a rear aspect. That doesn't even happen. Which I did not- well, I was not expecting.
Oh, you think the gun on this thing sucks? But I, got, I think the gun is incredible compared to the F5. It's just this fucking damage hose with a spread on it, naturally, and you just shoot it and shit just dies. It's so easy to hit with compared to the F5's machine guns, I find. That was, like, euphoric for me. It was incredible. I think I'm gonna die. I don't like being here. It's better than the F5 not as good as the Vulcan. Well, we're gonna get an F16, so it's okay. That MiG's coming to me, and I want to kill it. Is it not coming to me? It's not coming to me. Oh, shit. It's fucking dead. Are they not coming to me? They're not coming to me. Sure. They must be coming to me. They're not. I'm on Pulse Doppler. I can't pick them up. Oh, shit. This is the dead part. Fuck! I shouldn't have done this. I shouldn't have done this at all. Fire, fire, regain consciousness and fire. I'm so fucking dead! Oh, got him. Hey, I'm not dead, what the fuck? Nice. Splash one. Fox one. I got a big 23 behind me, which isn't great. That's gonna go into the mountain, I think. Nope, it's not. Yes, it is. Okay, guns. Down an engine, I think we are down an engine. Go for the runway! Ah! 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 <laughs> well, we got two kills. So that's not bad. Cons especially considering where I fucking put myself. I'm pretty happy to come out of that with two kills. But for that first bit, that's what happens to me with the F4J a lot right now. Where, like, I'll be I'll be looking at the target that looks like it's closing with me. I'm on Pulse Doppler. I'm trying to lock it. I just can't lock. And I'm like, why is this happening to me? Lock. 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 And doesn't lock. 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 And, and doesn't lock. And then they fly past me, and then I look to my right, and I go, Oh my god, it's the entire enemy team. Because I was distracted trying to lock. Try to use the scan mode. Is it... Is it more reliable than the, the ACM mode or something? So it's with narrowband and then lock through that. Okay, so the, the more I like narrow the cone, the more um, accurate it is, right? Or should be. Select Sparrow. Scan. Pulse Doppler. Pencil scan is accurate as fuck. Okay, I need to bind that. I gotta, I gotta bind so many fucking buttons. That would be... Search mode or scope scale? I think it's search mode, actually. No, shit, I can't do shift T. That's something else. It's, oh, it's scope scale. Okay. Uh. Oh, fuck. Buttons. So 120 times 8, 120 times 3. What's the difference between 120 times 8 and 120 times 3? This is narrower, I get that. Oh, it's just Y17. It, it, that, that menu always gets sticky for me, though. 
You can actually see in front how narrow we've made it, too. You can see how much more narrow it is. By the, the little pong thing going back and forth. That's normal. I don't get the difference between these two modes. 120 times 8, 120 times 3. Is it elevation? Because this is pencil mode. I get that. But what's the difference between these two modes? 120 times 8, 120 times 3. Anyway, we'll try pencil mode this time around. Over ACM mode. Which seems like it'd be very similar. Vertical range, yeah. So, by 3 is going to be more accurate at the cost of less elevation difference. By 3 looks left and right. By 8 steps down, up, up and down after each left right look. Okay. So by 3 sounds like the middle ground I want most of the time in realistic battles. Because I'm not actually using the radar to see bandits. Really. Not accurate, but easier to lock. Okay. But you're saying this pencil mode, this is just more accurate and easier to lock? Hey, the target. Coming in low. Waiting for a good lock. Waiting for a good lock. Fox one. Where is my missile? Oh shit! Ah! Is there I are? I fired my fucking sidewinders. No, I said Fox one. That plane. That means fire the sparrow. That means you got a lock. Yeah, that's... I know what happened. I have... The the plane... I didn't hear the Sidewinder growl, I didn't know. The plane can slave the IR Seeker of the Sidewinders using the radar. That's probably what happened. Car Carl thinks it's more like Fox 2, am I right? You were right! That was the problem! I <laughs> thought... Maybe that's why I couldn't get a lock until fucking... Oh my god, that's why I couldn't get a lock until 6 kilometers. And that's why the missile instantly <laughs> disappeared. Ah! <laughs> uh. I thought I picked the Sparrow when I took off. But it might be because I've bound my fucking... This, this is the thing. You see what I'm saying? It's all tech support. It's all tech support at this point. Okay, we're back. We're going to... Narrow scan. Pulse Doppler. Taking off. Gear. Flaps up. We're gonna try that again. That was a- I feel like that was a really good launch, too, if it was a fucking Sparrow. PG says, this is why the F4J normally has a Wizzo, lol. Beagle's doing both jobs solo. Yeah, I wish there was Twitch integration where you guys could do the, the missile. That's you in the back. It's like the Incredon building thing. Every time I die, one, one of you randomly dies in the back, too. Select Sparrow? Oh, thank you. I didn't have Sparrow selected again. Select Sparrow. I thought I selected Sparrow. Narrow band. Sparrow selected. Did DF dumb fire? I don't think that's what it means. Dogfight, yeah. Yeah, chat just pretending my Wizzo, yeah, my Rio, just pretend. Just, just tell me to kill him, that's right. It's fun though, you know, it's fun in that DCS way. This is like DCS light, and it's fun. It's a different kind of fun, but it is fun. And it's satisfying when you get a kill in this no matter what.
As Bounty said, gotta get a real checklist at this point in my head. I really want the F-16 though, because the F-16 looks like it can do all this shit, and it can still, like, go guns. And dogfight, which looks so fucking cool. It looks... F-16 looks like... F-5 gaming, but... In the modern era, with all the missiles and shit. That's what I want. I want both. I want I want the missiles, but I also want the F-5. That's what we're gonna do. Okay. Got something. At 20 kilometers. The fuck is that? Dead is what it is. Sparrow selected. Fox 1 this time. I think I'm gonna get notched. But I'll try. Got a lot of radars on me. Oh god. Sidewinder. Flared. Flared. I don't know why I'm wasting my breath. Because I'm thirsty, that's why. Because I'm thirsty! Not a lot of point. Oh god, F-14 on me. Going that defensive there. <laughs> oh, I can't see. Get there off me, that's good. Fuck, it's radar, what am I doing? Brain. It's my brain that can't keep up at this point, not my reactions. It's radar, of course it's radar. Too busy in a flare mode from what I was just went through. Wingman PG chips has died. <laughs> The interesting thing about the flares on this plane, too, is that they go up. Which isn't great when you're pitching, because it leads the missiles straight into where you're pitching. <laughs> Bugabooga says, here, this should have some useful info. <laughs> F4J Phantom 2 Flight Manual. <laughs> Excellent. Let's go again. I'm going over to the sea again. That was working out. I shouldn't have turned onto that MiG and kept going. When I realized it was going to notch the missile, I should have maneuvered in a position to keep a head on, or I should have just gone past. It's perpendicular, it just, it ain't happening. Pulse Doppler. Pencil scan. Sparrow selected. Stare at the F-14s and F-16s and wish you were them. That's a mirage, ew. We're not in F-16 bracket. F4S just blew up a teammate on the enemy team. Excellent. Also, can you fly through as many trees as you want in this game? I can't tell. I watch YouTubers play this game and they fly through trees like they're not real. Do trees not count or something? Some trees are real, depends on the map. That's that's awesome. That's so great. That's, that's, some trees are real. New map trees are real. Great. I love that only I love that answer. That's great.
Jets are cool. I'm the rookie. I want to go get on the left side of this fandom. Take me under your wing, literally. That's 50... That's 35 kilometers away? 50... 55. I don't think I need to target a thing that's 55 kilometers away. I'm getting locked. At this bracket, that actually matters, so I need to notch. I don't have chaff yet, by the way. Be lining the better missiles. No lock. Are there any battle rule sets that require you to be in cockpit view? I imagine Simulator does. I got something. See, there you go! Okay, I want to get into a head-on position with it, right? Or is it already turning away? I'm getting locked by something too, I'm gonna fire. I'm gonna like turn to the side and try to stay low for whatever's coming at me. I hope it works. My target's already downed. So now we're gonna roll in behind them, I think. Oh, Mirage, no! Busy defending. I've flown into the bad shit right now. I'm dead. Too long not knowing what I'm doing. Ah! Curse you, F 16! Sometimes I get that at this VR. Sometimes I just explode. I probably had a radar a lot, but was too busy trying to get a kill. Sammy says, I'm introducing the horseshoe theory, ho ho horseshoe theory of plane combat. At BR1, you play biplanes and everyone flies at the deck. Then you go up in BR and planes start to fly higher and higher. Then you make it the top tier and everyone's flying at the deck again. Yeah, because missiles, scary. Missiles, very scary. Really, the hardest thing, though, um, with a new jet like this, getting in a new one, is just the, the lack of a trained crew for it. Just having, like, no real G-tolerance is such a pain. Gonna learn the crank, though? Yeah, explain crank to me. People talk about things like F-poles and crank. Explain it to me. Sparrow. Cannon. Pencil scan. Pulse. Why are you putting your F5 crew? Because I thought I might lose my ace qualification I just worked so hard to get. Baga says, so when you... No, you won't. But don't you have to pay every time you swap planes? No. So you only have to train that crew once and they remember it? Okay. Oh, then I guess I should put my F5 crew on this plane. Yeah, there's no need to train another one. So multiple crews is only for arcade? Oh, that'll help a lot. I'll be able to pull way more Gs. And Grand RB, yeah, yeah, Grand RB, but I'm not doing that yet. Fair enough. 
Turner is swear as far as possible without your radar going outside of his gimbal limit. Maximizes the distance enemies missile has to fly when in your own lock. So in War Thunder that would mean... Okay, on so on narrow it would be there, but normally it would be... I can turn that far away? Like, what's... How, is that how I see the gimbal limit of my radar? It's like 45 degrees. Like, I've had trouble, like, knowing what my limit is. Basically, yes. Okay. So basically, 45 degrees right and left seems to be the limit of this radar, then. Alright, after this we'll, we'll put the F5 crew onto this and we'll be able to pull a lot more Gs. What the fuck? Ah. When you tilt the plane, it changes. Right. I really want to use ACM mode because it's so much easier to lock head-ons with, but... We'll see. Theoretically, there shouldn't be any difference between ACM and penciling. But Baga did say, anecdotally, it worked better for them. Oh, shit! Hang on. Oh, God. No, it's okay. It's not looking at me. It's not looking at me. Okay, I gotta pay attention to the beeping. ACM or locks to be sure that everyone's RWR. Well, I mean, any kind of locking does that, right? Okay, what should I do here? Go low. Oh, got him! Nice. Uh oh, MiG 23. Go low. Go real fucking low. Okay, I don't know how, but okay. Ooh! I can't tell if that was IR on me or, um. Fucking, what is that above me? Hey, what is that? What is that? Oh, hi, shit. Uh-oh. Harrier! Hello. I wanna... aim you. I needed to flip so that the missile didn't go into the ground there, I think. Where have you gone, mine friend? Attacking. Yeah, but I gotta hit the deck because there's a missile. Ah, it's that fucking thing. Oh, good. Oh, it's behind me again. I lost control. Motherfucker. <laughs> Gene out. Speaking of Gene out, let's put the good crew on then. I, I was really scared of doing the crew swap thing because I really didn't want to lose my F F5C um, ace after I just got it. So I was really scared of that. But if everyone promises that won't happen, I guess we can swap. So wait, how do I do this? Change vehicle. Is 
send a holiday. Why is this so complicated? Baga says, you can put the F5C on the F4 slot cheaply, but not the other way around. I don't know what you mean. Can I just select it like this? Yeah. Okay. Pay 270,000 silver lions. The crew will not lose their operation skills in the vehicle they were already trained to. Okay. Oh, thank god. Okay. Oh, we can go straight to expert then, too. Nice. Because you're a high rank. Nice, and now- Okay, so that's gonna be way fucking better. Bagaboo says not worth it, I'm over the 4J. Oops, too late. It's alright. Uh, if I need SL, I'll just go back to the F5C. That thing prints. Should be able to pull more Gs now, hopefully. Because the reason I was blacking out so easy before is that was like a fresh crew. Because I thought I had to do a fresh crew. Can be a little bit confusing. Okay, let's see. Four, three, two, one. Hey, Dan's here! When I see the F5Cs, I'm like, that used to be me! Whenever I get a down tier, it's rare, but like, I, I, I'm like, please god, don't crash, or like, die somehow stupidly. I want to enjoy this. One of the things I like a lot about the 10.3 bracket that I haven't noticed, it seems like doesn't happen anymore in the higher tier, is there's always like, a very understandable meta of like, the team always goes right, ground attackers come in low and try to get free base points. So you can kind of depend on that, like it's kind of easy to remember, you know? Whereas at higher tier, I haven't figured out like what everyone's doing yet, everyone's just going around doing shit. What am I doing here? I'm going... There you go. Yeah, I still don't want to be first. You know, it's a narrow scam, but that's more than enough, too. For this game, for this video game. Motherfucking, we've already got someone. It's fucked up how far away you can see him from. They're going far out. I'm gonna go left. And I'm gonna come back in right. And we should pick him up again. 
Where'd they go? We had them. Lost them. No clue where they are now. Makes me want to pull off. I don't want to go off on my own, even in this thing. Even though I'm down tiered, I'm bad. So, you know. Okay, give me HMD. I don't want to get, like, surprised attack. It's fine in an F5. Oh, no! Kill! Get out of here before someone kills me. Ah! I wasted a few missiles there. I know I did. Okay, now, can I actually pull G's now? Oh! Yes, I can actually pull G's now, which is good. Now I can fucking fly this thing! My pilot is stronger than the aircraft. That is a lot easier. Okay, what do we got? That thing's flying off. I lost all my energy. Ooh, what's it doing? It's fucking around. I wanna go to radar, I think. Yeah. No! Nowhere! No! The down tier is gone. Benny says, you need to remember to watch your energy. I might be a five to single dump all this energy after one to deterrence. Yeah, I really had to I really wanted to evade that Megan coming though. I wasn't ready for it. I don't think I got a radar warning there. I think that was in the blind spot. Or it was IR. Or it was IR, and I just wasn't paying attention actually. It was close, it was probably IR. Just a MiG-21, not where I expected it to be. Which is what happens. It's okay. Round by round, I'm slowly getting slightly better. Uh, you can't, can't be good at this shit immediately. I know what to do. Back to the F-16s. Send me back to the F-16s. It's what I deserve. Sick the MiGs on me again. Oh yes, I see them. Keep your head in the swivel. Yeah. Thanks, Charles Cheeserton the third. Like I said, my my awareness has gone way down because I'm so busy fucking around with all the different radar toys. do our uh, skimming the ocean thing again with the MiG-29 Shin Megami Tensei. But this time I would try not to fly directly into the middle of the battle after the sea part if I live that long. That's the, that's the hard and interesting thing with with playing a semi-active radar homing, uh, you know, missile plane is that the thing I don't want to be doing flying towards the enemy is what I'm doing to maintain a lock. 
And it's very easy to just keep that lock greedily, and before you know it, like, you're in the middle of, like, all of their wing. Because if you pull your nose off and you lose lock, the missile loses lock. It's not, um, it's not an Amram yet. But I can only imagine how fucked up this game will be when Amrams get added to it. It's gonna be fucked up. Because Amrams, for those not into the Jets, here are, um, you know, they, they do their own shit. They're not semi-active, they're active radar homing, which means the missile has its own radar and it's fire and forget. It doesn't give a shit about you. It leaves home, it'll never see you again. So you don't have to maintain a lock. You just fire that and then you break off. What is that very bright square at the bottom of my radar? Is that like the sea? It makes it very hard to see what I'm talking about. Is that clutter? Terrain clutter? Right. I don't like it. I want it to go away. There's an icon front on the left of the SRC. So what, the higher the bars, the more Wi-Fi you have? Wi-Fi of the Earth. So more bar is bad, more bar is more clutter. That's like the opposite of my phone. Fox one. It's dead. Beagle, why do you say it out loud? Because I'm trying to fucking... <laughs> I have to say it out loud to do the right steps. <laughs> I'm so fucked. Ah! Fox one. Go low. Ugh. Splashed! Con ah, fuck, I need to be an ACM. Oh no, I didn't, I could've just sidewinded. Okay, I wanna get the fuck out of here now. I don't wanna- I don't wanna just get greedy. This isn't the F5 gaming. Now I wanna, like, back off. And find someone again. Sidewinder, surely. Yeah, I- I- I got a lot of buttons to hit. I'm getting used to my buttons. Oh shit! That Sui's still alive. Stop playing with your food and kill it. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Box one. No idea if that'll hit. Holy shit, missiles are insane! Oh my god! You gotta understand, I've played, like, two weeks of the F5C with AIM-9Es that have to have their hands held to cross the street. And shooting a missile like that and seeing it hit, it's like orgasmic. It's insane to watch a missile that can do its job. It's absolutely insane. And I just got the better ones. Oh yeah. Okay, so I just got all the missiles. I think I might treat myself with some chaff now. If that's alright with everyone. Just treat myself a little bit. We'll unfavorite you. Or I'll just edit you. I'm gonna go... Upgrade... To the AIM-7Fs. That's all we can do. You can't, you can't have any more than that. It looks as no, it's not alright. Oh no, I'm not I'm not allowed to have chaff? Okay. 
Benny says, ironically, a 7F would have struggled to hit that shot. Right, because the 7Fs trade a little bit of close range uh, agility for way more long range, right? Baga says, 7F is basically the E2 except triple the range. It's a little slower to start turning, but it's very maneuverable at speed and it's very long range for semi active radar. Baga says, no, 7F would have hit it. Oh, I hope so, nice. Because that shot's already as crazy as I need to get, you know? If that missile can hit, I mean, that was a fucked up missile. Like, let's be honest, uh, no business of that hitting. That was a fucked up missile. So if that missile can hit, we're laughing. Ain't no problem. I'm gonna try some HMD gaming again, because the HMD is just so much easier once it gets into the dogfight, which always happens. Always gonna happen. What's the highest tier missile like in War Thunder? I think this is like one of them. I think this is like one of the highest tier sparrows in the game, if not the right now. And then for sidewinders, I think it's the 9J. 9L or 9J are the strongest sidewinders, and I think they're all aspect. Which means you can lock from anywhere, not just rear. Nine M's current top. Okay, there you go. Nine M ignores flares to a degree. Oh goody! Who has a nine M? Just the Falcon. Like, I'm already having fun in top tier with this plane. I can only fucking imagine how much I'm gonna just, yeah, if I get the F-16C. Seraf says, if they're on the side, that's about 95% of the time they're dead. How do you, what do you do about it? What do you do to not die to it if side aspect is dead? Front? Rear? What's, what's the easier dodge? You get a pre-flare and you see an M9M carry lighting you up? Nice. Oh, I didn't select Sparrow. That would have been funny. I think I've seen people reliably dodge it. Is it do a flare flower? Bower roll and flare? That's so fucking sick. That's so fucking cool, I'm sorry, that's so cool. I probably shouldn't have gone HMD right away this time, I should have used the recon, but fuck it. Fuck's one. down. I probably should have turned around, but now it's too late and I'm gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die. I'm fucked. I sh that, that's when I should have turned around. After the kill, I should have tried to run, but it was already a little bit late. Oh god. Someone is saving my life. A fucking F-14 Phoenix just took out one of them. Thank you. I'm gonna keep going, please. I'm gonna leave, please. I'm gonna hope no one's above me. Uh-oh. Oh, fuck. Evaded. It's on my tail now. Doesn't care. That was a radar guarded missile again. Shit, they radared me. How the fuck did you radar me? Going sideways to you, I can never make that work. Oh well. Need more chaff. I need any chaff. Hey, any chaff at all. 
Okay, this time we're not going to go straight in HMD mode, but it worked out there. It was fine. Benny says, the Nynamo avoids flares by showing off its secret for a short time when it sees flares. So you need to pre-flare and dodge right when you see the launch. Chance of getting hit is still high, though. <laughs> That's so fucked up. So it, so it can tell a flare from a plane. Oh, shit. Hang on, I got a phone call. Hang on. Goodbye. Sparrow. Basically, the first flash bang was secret head, so it needs to blink. That's so fucking funny. So, as long as flares are up, it'll keep doing that, so that's why you just spam flares. If you flare normally without moving, it just stops tracking and then requires you after the flares are gone. So basically, you need to keep flaring... ...until you've turned out of its secret cone, which I imagine is massive. So a flare to an aim 9M is like flashbanging it. So why does the why does the flare flower work? Do you have to keep flowering until you pass the jet? Warlock says, as long as there are flares in the secret puppet, it's only using internal guidance. Is that no guidance? What, what's it guiding to if its eyes are closed? Pulse Doppler. It's inertial guidance. You mean it's just going where it was going? Last relocation, right. Expedition follows it. Modern missiles are so fucking scary. This is like missile knows where it is bullshit. Bag says this isn't modern, this shit is old now. Yeah, but like it's more modern compared to the F5 I've been in. I don't even want to think about like modern, modern missiles. Drone warfare! God, who is locking me? Is it you? Is it you, F-14? Praying! Yeah! It was F-14. Perhaps it was time to go sideways when that launch occurred. It was a bit hard to stay low there because of the mountains. Warlock says, new seekers know what a plane looks like and don't go over things that look like flares. So at what point do, f do you stop really bothering of flares and you just have to rely on, like, electronic warfare kind of measures? This is why F-35 good. Because survival is less about feel the G's and more about my computer says you can't shoot me right now.
Benny says modern jets use towed decoys to attract modern missiles. Oh my god. Really? Like inflatable like tanks kind of shit? That's crazy. It's a decoy that emits its own radar signature to the poison the river jet on a cable. Huh. Huh. What will those crazy nerds think of next? Deploy the wacky inflatable tube man to give his life for yours. <laughs> but yeah, there's this F4J Phantom. Hey, it's Metal Massacre! That's the F-16 I followed the other time when we, uh, got splashed by that F-14. Hey, Talbers, have you had time to level up your Viking yet? Viking gang. Where's that sniffing motherfucker? I gotta ask sniffing, too. Ask Jamble, lol. Look at how fast right now. Uh, we're kind of the same speed. We're a bit faster, but we're kind of the same speed. It's just because we're lower to the ground all the time. It looks it looks faster. I think we have more acceleration. I'm not really sure. The F5 has very bad acceleration. It's probably anything is more. Ah, fuck it. This is why... Ah. This is why I just need to keep it on HMD because I cannot fucking remember what my HMD button is. What the fuck is my- There it is! Ah! This is why I just leave it on HMD because I cannot fucking remember my button. It's- It's control T. I've got too many fucking buttons. Because I, I have con- I have not- I'm not used to that because I started playing this plane today. I have control T switches radar modes. That's- no, it switches- no. C control 4 switches radar modes like the scan range. Chris, you're not on a single button? Well, I don't have that many single buttons to spend. Uh... Maybe? What? What's why? I, I can make buttons, hang on. It's the stats. Can I search by what things are bound to? No, I can't. Okay. So if I... Multifunction menu, which I rarely use. So hang on, do that. Multifunction. Where the fuck is that? Fuck you. 
Okay. Tracking camera. I want tracking camera. Toggle engine. That's fine, sure. I don't need to toggle my engine. Okay. Alright, I will no longer have that problem. At least. Now I can go Alt T for PD, and now I can change the other button. Okay, I know what I'm doing. Now I'm gonna go to... Scan Radar. This goes to control T now. Now I can do my band of control T. Alt T P D. And now it's Y to switch target modes. That'll be a lot easier to hit in the heat of combat. Okay. That'll be better. I think that'll fix my problem. Can I, can I clear that? No, I can't. Whatever. Back to settings, hang on. Missile. Secondary. All right. Now I can swap my Targeting it easier. And where's all the homies going? Most of the smattering of them are going over this way, so I'm gonna stick with the stick with the herd. I'm gonna switch my soundtrack up too. You ready back there? We're gonna have a great time. This is gonna be a great round. As long as I remember my new button. Why? It's just why. If you forget that button, why, quite frankly? Why? Who's in my backseat? Who is it this time, Incredon? Uh, it's Philip. Philip's a glutton for punishment. Philip wants it. That's no good. One. Missed. Missile? Oh, that's my fault. Oh, evaded. Guns, guns, I'm busy trying to, uh-oh. Escape! Uh-oh. <laughs> no! I went into the bad territory. That's what I mean, that's what I mean. Going into the bad territory, trying to get a kill. Like with that initial MIG, and then I fly straight into their team. I really need to like, not do that. Strategically. Yeah, Philip is dead. That, that's like the big hurdle for me, honestly, with this era of warfare, is not greedily following my sparrow in the die. Should I be like cutting speed? Should I be like cutting my afterburner off and slowing down? But 
But then I can't evade incoming missiles? I don't know. Should I be going- should I be trying to go higher? I always go low. I think if I'm gonna stay on my team's side of the map, I can go low. But otherwise, like, I should try going higher and, like, playing the altitude game? I don't know. I haven't tried the altitude game for a while, because it wasn't working for me. It's just kind of a part of this era of missiles. Yeah, you like, it's... You just gotta go on in! Delta says, if you offer the shelter demands, pick a new commit against. I gotta do the crank thing. I gotta crank it! Oh! Shit. Light. No, we'll, that's alright. We'll go in. You bet dodgy missiles in War Thunder. Oh, thank you. It's not that that I need right now, I think. It's... I, I think I know how to dodge missiles in general, kinda. I'm saying strategically, they'll be like all the enemy team, and I shoot at one of them, and then I fly into the enemy team because I want the missile to hit. And that is hard to find a compromise for. Benny says, you can't really crank of a semi-active missile when you generally has 40 degrees of radar off the nose. Yeah, I can crank a little bit. Delta says, if you think about it, the battle is two blows moving clockwise around the map before diving into the middle, so you just need to be off to the side somewhat. Yeah. I can just, like, wait to get into it until a little bit later. I'm just greedy. I'm just greedy for action. I'm doing it again. Now, in your guys' opinion, is there any hope of me using this plane to hit people with radar missiles against targets that aren't coming towards me? Like, if I get down tier, should I be, like, trying to, like, bully them with different kinds of launches? Because I tried it, and I couldn't get any fucking locks when they weren't coming at me. Yeah, but it'll be rare. That's what I felt. I felt like it was just worth it more to just stay in PD. Maybe too close. No, it's not about that. It's about how the radar works. You find dumbasses in F5Cs who have no chaff and down tiers? No, I'm one of those dumbasses. It, it's it's fine. I rarely get radar in F5C. Alright, we're flying this low to avoid radar. It's like the most, most reliable defense against radar. That is a target closing on me the fastest here. What's my launch range of a uh, 7F at this altitude? What do you reckon? 20? I'm doing it. I'm flying into the blob. I need to pull off. Pull off. Pull the fuck off. I'm doing the thing. I'm recognizing I'm doing- Starfighter, what are you doing here? F-104! I'm gonna recognize it, I'm gonna pull off. That was not gonna go well. I was about to fly into the red blob again, I reckon. That's gonna get notched. I don't think there's much point. Maybe? Give it a go, it might not. Closing at 450. But I tend to lose lock around under 400 right about now. There it goes. Yeah, I knew it! And next time, I'll know it and I won't switch. So I went her away. I don't know if I can hit that at 5. Maybe. No, too far. That'll be a switch PD moment, right. I should find that to a better button too. It's 
obviously we can't lock them because they're flying away. Oh, they're coming. A little close though. Back to Sidewinder. Please don't hit that F-104. Oh, hit him, but I think they just died first. I think everyone on the enemy team is dead. Oh, shit, shit, shit! Notch, motherfucker. Or were you never the one locking me? Oops, I didn't want to do that. My bad. Still sparrows now. That was guns, yeah, that was the guns. So this is where I should try. No, 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 lock off. Search radar. Diamethus says, do you have any tips for flying the SU-9? I have none. I have only played F5C and now this, which I'm getting used to right now. I'm sorry. If you want tips for flying the F5C, I can pass them on to you. That's about it. Ah, oh, some chaff as a treat. What do I want next? Engine or cover? Or a fuselage repair, perhaps. Probably engine. But this is quicker. So I guess I'll get this first. What kind of plane is this brick? Yeah, it's a missile bus. Engine gives you more benefit for everything else, though. Yeah, true. I'll probably go for engine next. After a little bit more of this, I should switch to the F5 so we can actually make some progress on the tech tree. Because this is fun, but it's just getting my appetite wetter for an F16. Where I can do this and turn. Definitely fun for something different though. Whenever I see fit my plane into the ground, I can s no, I can't because it'll be the same crew. Versus that, I don't get it. Brick. It's uh, not good at turning. It's not very agile. 